Hi, I'm Alois Rosario. And I'm Jeff Plum from pingskills.com and today we're going to look at the backhand push. Firstly, let's look at why we need the push. It's a really useful stroke if the other person gives you a backspin ball because with the push it's much easier to get the ball back. It's also a good stroke if you want to generate some backspin and make it harder for your opponent at the other end of the table. So let's examine the backhand push. Firstly, we start with the feet position, making sure your legs are nice and bent and you can be quite square onto the table if it's a long push. The next thing we need to think about is your start position. So your start position is in front of your body, same as with the backhand counter hit, but this time you're going to lay your back back a little bit so that you can counter the backspin on the ball and also be able to generate the backspin yourself by brushing underneath the ball. The third thing is we come forward, hit the ball and follow through down towards the table or towards the net, just depending on what type of spins on the ball when it's coming to you. So the three basics, feet square on, start position in front, tilt your bat back and push forward towards the table or the net. Let's have a look at Jeff doing the backhand push. You'll notice that his bat is tilted back so it's facing towards the roof. From there he comes forward brushing underneath the ball to just generate a little bit of backspin. Another thing you can do with the push is vary the amount of spin you're getting on. You can start with not much spin with a fairly open bat and then if you want to get more spin you can lay your bat back and brush under the ball. Just get a brushing contact and go underneath the ball. That will generate more backspin which will make it harder for your opponent to attack. The backhand push is a very soft stroke so it's important that you don't try and hit the ball too hard with the push. Because it has backspin on the ball, if you hit the ball too hard the ball will fly off the end of the table. It's more a control stroke and a stroke that you position to make it harder for your person at the other end. If you've learnt the backhand push, now you can go to pingskills.com and learn a whole lot more about the strokes of table tennis.